During a conference in the Crimean city of Yalta, Russian President Vladimir Putin made remarks about the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, in which he stated that Russia has done everything possible to stop the bloodshed in Karabakh. Now the most important thing is that the situation on the border is finally settled. Nothing can be done without the participation of the Russian side, Putin stated. Putin added that incidents do occasionally occur, unfortunately, but quote, it is difficult to imagine an idealistic situation after so many years of confrontation. Putin then reiterated calls for the border situation between Armenia and Azerbaijan to be settled, adding that nothing can be done without Russia's participation due to the Soviet-era maps being held in Moscow. The border demarcation issue between Armenia and Azerbaijan has resulted in calls for a return to Soviet-era borders. However, discrepancies occur with both the maps possessed by the Armenian and Azerbaijani sides. The maps which show the exact borders of the different Soviet republics are in the possession of the general staff of the Russian armed forces. Putin finally called for both sides to be ready to compromise, stating that a settlement of the conflict is possible. And the Armenian health minister, Anahit Avanesian, has announced that Norway will donate over 620,000 doses of the Moderna coronavirus vaccine to Armenia. Avanesian stated that a trilateral agreement had been signed between Armenia, Norway and Moderna. The arrival of the new batch will be organized by the European Commission's Directorate General for Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection. This batch will allow for the inoculation of 300,000 people. The dilemma remains, however, that as Armenia Armenia supplied and buys vaccine batches, the vaccination rate remains low. This also comes as Armenian health authorities reported a record 2,603 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday, with health workers raising the alarm regarding Armenian hospitals reaching full capacity. An Azerbaijani president, Ilham Aliyev, has claimed that Armenia has agreed to establish a corridor in the southern region of Sunik to connect Azerbaijan proper to Nakhijevan. Aliyev had threatened several times to force Armenia into opening a corridor. Armenian officials were quick to react, stating that Armenia has not been discussing any such corridor. Russian officials too have not been using the term corridor. However, on Thursday, Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov stated that positive messages were coming out of Yerevan as of late. Armenian officials have not reacted to Bayramov's comments. And in the latest edition of Insights with Eric Kopian, Eric discusses Armenia's failure in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic and how this is ultimately a failure of leadership. Eric furthermore speaks on the ruling party's defeat in local elections and Russian President Vladimir Putin's ambiguous yet possibly tactical remarks referring to Artsakh as Armenia. Thank you.